Hi there, I'm Scott Fisher. I'm the Amherst and Boston Office Director, and I'm very excited to uh, introduce Steve Johnson, the winner of the 2022 Quarter One Lawrence S. Simo Award for Scientific Leadership. Known Steve for quite a long time, and Steve, welcome. And can you introduce yourself uh, to everybody else? Thanks, Scott. Uh, I really appreciate uh, this chance to meet everybody and, uh, and to get this award. I'm really excited about it. Um, I've been working as a rare species biologist with SWCA now for six years and have been doing similar work a little over 25 years now uh, throughout New England. So Steve, I first started working with you back in the 90s uh, and you kind of gar uh, fostered my love affair with plants in particular, but I know that you've studied a variety of other uh, flora and fauna and, and you're an expert in a variety of fields which is your favorite at this point? That's a really, actually a really hard question to answer. Um, but if I have to pick just one, um, at least on a nice, warm, sunny summer day, I would say doing mussel surveys as a melancholist. I love uh, finding new species in general. So it's, it always makes my day when I've seen a new plant or a new turtle or a new snake. Uh, it's just, it's always, it's all fun. Um, um, you know, you've had to have had some really interesting and cool scuba diving experiences. It's it's something I've always wondered about when you're out there and I see that you're scheduled to do work outside with a great dive team that you lead. What, what's been your coolest experience so far uh, being part of a dive team? It's definitely uh, some of the work we've been doing recently in the Connecticut River. Uh, last year, while we were out um, located, you know, searching for and relocating uh, an endangered uh, state endangered mussel, the yellow lamp mussels, we uh, came across these really cool little fish that were obviously little miniature sturgeon. Uh, and we knew that there were adult short nose and potentially Atlantic sturgeon in the area. And so we, we snapped some photos and some video of the first one. And uh, I sent those off to Don Pugh, our, our sturgeon expert. And he got super excited. Like it, was, it was already a magical experience. Like you could tell these were little sturgeon. We'd never be able to see adult sturgeon because they just, they're afraid of our bubbles. So we never get to see sturgeon. And here is this one that's just, you know, puttering around in front of us. And, you know, fast forward, I send these, these images to Don and he flips out because it turns out um, no one has seen, these are young of year sturgeon. So these are sturgeon that had just hatched that spring. And no one has observed sturgeon at that life stage in the wild ever. It's always just been in laboratory reared experiments. And those videos all ended up going to the World Sturgeon Society and spread across throughout the, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. So it really became a, a super exciting experience and we're you know re really looking forward to going back this year and hopefully seeing some more of them. Now Steve, just hearing you tell that story, it, it reminded me of working with you in the field and, and uh, just how your passion rubs off on other people that you work with and how, you know, you really get excited um, about the science. And, and I think our clients can feel that. I know they can feel that um, when you were nominated uh, for the award. Uh, you, there was a quote in, in the nomination saying that you're selling the science and we're winning work because of Steve's technical expertise. And I know that, that to be true. Clients have directly said that to me about that. And I think it's because you, you, you really live that passion. But I'm just curious, what's your thought on that? I know that the science is, is in the heart of it for you, but there is that selling bit as well. So how do you feel that you sell the science? So I don't really think of it as selling at all. Um, my objective is to demonstrate to both the agencies and our clients that we've got both the uh, scientific expertise and experience to you know get the job done and successfully uh, collect all the data that everyone's going to need to, to move a project forward. So that's that's really my focus, um, is to you know keep learning new skills, keep honing our skills as a team, and, and just be able to make everyone comfortable with our abilities. Well, you've had a really interesting uh, professional career and educational career that I know quite a bit about, but I'm just curious, do you have any advice for um, folks that are just thinking about or starting pursuing a uh, career now, the technical trend? Sure. Um, I heard a, a, a quote once. I don't even know who made, who said the quote, but it always, it's always stuck with me. And it, um, work as if you're gonna die today or tomorrow, and but live, learn as if you're gonna live forever. Because 
you never know when a useful skill is going to come, you know, when a skill is going to come in handy. So, you know, definitely uh, reach out and take advantage of any opportunity you get to learn a new skill set. Uh, you never know where it's going to connect. Uh, I never thought rock climbing was going to become an important part of my botanical skills. But you're going to have time to, to fit it in somehow and make it part of your career. Well, thank you, Steve. Steve Johnson, congratulations on being uh, the 2022 first quarter Lawrence S. Simo Award winner. Thank you.